When creating a sales letter style website, you're going to want to include bullet point list as part of your web copy. And when you start looking at other web pages and other websites, you're going to see bullet points in their copy. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth on how to write copy right now, but I just want to show you how to create bullet points as a final thought on some web design basics. So here's uh, the index page where I can edit and I'm going to left align and create some bullet points. So if I click up here, I can have a numbered list or I can just have straight bullet points. So here I'm just going to click on for bullet points and here I can type benefit number one and then if I hit enter I can it takes me to the next line and creates a new bullet benefit number two benefit number three and I can highlight these and I can go to format and I can go to the size and I can make this extra extra large and I'm just doing that mainly so you can see it and I can make uh, the color red or let's make it green just to do something differently here so I can make that green and I can make the first one bold I can do all the other formatting to these bullet points so here's my bullet points and generally if you're doing bullet points you want to make them all the same bold and the same color now you can also do something like this let's do short explanation and this could be black I might want to make that a smaller size too so format text color make it black hit OK and I'll unbold it and I'll go to text size and go to just extra large so it's a little smaller so I could do that and this isn't the nicest looking bullet points you have to play with these till they look nice I'm just showing you some different formatting and I'm doing it quickly here just to show you how to do it so you can also just pick the word explanation and you know you can highlight that any way you like you can pick the highlighter here and we can highlight that yellow because remember I said yellow is usually a nice color to use for highlighting and I can also go down if I wanna if I'm at the last bullet I just hit enter and then here I hit backspace on my keyboard and it didn't let me do it if I hit enter again there it is it undoes it for me so here's the process at the last bullet I hit it now I don't want to type benefit number four I'm done so I just hit enter again and it finishes for me usually for bullet point lists there's no general rule but you want to have anywhere from three to ten bullets some people have like 30 bullets in a row but generally you break them up in in about batches of five and you disperse them so that all the text on your website isn't just paragraphs you have these bullet points in there it just breaks it up and also bullet points are basically lists of benefits or lists of things that your product does um, that are attractive that will make people want to buy it so when people skim through a page they can read the bullet points and it gives them information in a short way uh, but it stands out with all the sexiest gimmicks and we can also hit create a numbered list and it's just a numbered bullet point so if you want a list of things like step one step two step three we select the number here and you can use these for steps or just other benefits like if you wanted to call this the top five benefits then you could do like a like a David Letterman top ten list and then step two or you know we can have reasons in here step four okay and then we can also format these the same way I'll just make them bigger so you can see them format text size make it extra large okay so then you can see it that way and you see what happens if I highlight this and I can center it and that's what happens to the list usually left aligned bullet list looks the best because you'll see it looks kind of weird if I right align it the numbers you want the numbers to line up if it's numbered and you want the bullets to line up so when you left align that's when the numbers in the bullets look nice so you want to grab these and put little benefit list in between all the paragraphs on the website just to break it up so now you can create bullet point list and this is called an ordered list so when you start learning the hand coding it's just an ordered list 
and with bullet points it's an unordered list and when you do hand coding you'll be able to change the style of the bullet you can make these check marks or you can put images there it doesn't have to just be the generic bullet that you see here so greater flexibility with hand coding and hand coding is pretty simple once you learn this